Okay, hello everybody, uh, Simone here with another tutorial. Today we're going to make Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. A cute little fella. And you're going to need yellow and white bands and a few orange reds, uh, one red and one black. Um, for the flames I use two different colors of orange. You can also use mango or red or gold or yellow. Just use two different colors that go nicely together for the flames each time. I'm going to start with showing you how to make the arms. We're going to make two arms. Uh, first we're going to take two yellow bands and we're going to tie them in a knot. You can do it on your loom and just place one band on the loom, loop the other one through it and make a slip knot. This is going to be his arm piece and we're going to use it later. Um, slip it off. Okay, what you're going to do then is take uh, one single yellow band, double it, and place it on the top two packs. Take two yellow bands, place them just right under there. And now we're going to do something that's slightly different. I'm going to take two white bands. I'm not going to loop them, loom them on just like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach them to one side, loom them around once to create two extra loops and then go down. So it's like a one and a half looped or doubled or what you want to call it. Uh, and then we're going to create his flame and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of each of my flame colors. For me it's very bright orange and a dark bright orange and I'm going to take them and I'm going to make a knot right in the middle just like this so you have two halves one of the halves I'll attach to the pack it's going to be my capping band this half is going to be the flame the capping side I'm going to try and cap it three times to create or I'm going to um, cap it two times to create three loops with each band so that's once and twice I got well, six loops on three of each color and just a little extension. Um, before we're going to loom up, I'm going to set up the other one as well. So, again, I'm going to make uh, the band that I'm going to make a slip knot with first. So, I'll put a, white, a yellow one on and the other one through it to create a slip knot. And I'm going to put it aside right there. I'm going to take one yellow one double loop it, two yellow ones right below, two white ones, attach it to one side, loop it around and go down just like that so it's got an extra loop here and then one of each of my flame colors make a knot in the middle just like that Attach one side and cap it off to create three loops with each band, so six loops in total. Four. Come on. This one's a little bit tighter. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're ready to loom up our both arms. Just grab the, the bottom band, pull them through all the other ones. The bottom. Here I take the two bottom yellow loops, loop them up on the other side as well. I'll take the go through my flame bands, take the white ones, loop them up just like that. Go through all the white bands. I'll grab uh, the yellow one. And again. Now I'm going to take my slip knot band, so the two yellow bands tied together. I'm going to go through the end, make sure I'm going through all the loops. Take the band through, touch the other side, and pull this side over to create a slip knot. And then you can pull it up just like that. Maybe use your hook for the tighter spot so your bands won't break. 
this gives you this nice little arm, this candle arm. Gotta make sure the flame is right in the middle of the arm and not standing out to the side. Okay, the other side again. I'm gonna go through all the loops, grab the band, push the other side on, over and uh, slip knot. And then I'll take it off. Right. And that's his other arm. And now we're already ready to make his head and his body. I'm going to start with his head. I'm going to use two yellow, two um, white bands each time. So we're going to go at the top diagonally to both sides and then we're going to come down on each side three times with two bands every time. So that's one, two, three times on that side and one, two, three times here. What we're going to do now is going to come to the middle with yellow bands and I'm going to use three yellow bands there. So three yellow bands and three yellow bands. You got this, that's his little hat and we're going to make his body. I'm going to use four bands on the first two packs in the middle there. Then I'm going to use two because he's a little bit thinner in his neck. Then um, four again. Another four and another two. So it's four, two, four, four, two. That's all of them yellow. Um, and then I'm going to take two yellow bands. I'm going to double loop them and place them on the last bank now. It's four, two, four, four, two and two bands double looped. Uh, then again two bands diagonally to the side and two bands to the other side for his foot and what I'm going to do is on each of these I'm going to come down once with two bands and I'm going to uh, cap this off with two bands I'm just gonna you're just gonna make a triangle over the bottom tree and pull this band right over there. So basically, this band is just capping all the ends off. I'm gonna attach his arms. They're gonna come right here. And to make sure they'll sit in place, I'll put the rest of the band around this. But you could also just attach them like that. That's just to keep them in place, really for now. And what we're going to do now is make his mouth, his nose and his eyes. And after that we're ready to loom up. For his mouth I'm going to take a red band, loop it around my hook, three loops, and then I'll take a yellow one, make two bands, so double loop it, and then I'll just pull all three red loops around the two yellow bands, or the two looped uh, bands. And this is going to be my mouthpiece and I'm going to place it on these two packs. So the, the fourth pack from the bottom on each side. The bottom of his mouth. And I'll just make sure the red is slightly in the middle. Now for his nose, um, I'm going to use a white bands. First white band I'm going to loop around my hook four times. Just like that. And make sure they're neatly to each other. I'm going to take another white band, loop it twice and place all these four bands on top of those that loop band. Back and you got four loops around your hook again. I'm going to do the same process again. So a single band, loop it around two times and place all the loops on this band. So this is his nose. Now we're going to attach it to the holding band and again that is going to be 
one band double looped and yeah we place his nose right on top of it and now we're gonna attach it to the third back third pack from the bo uh, top so just above his mouth and we're gonna make sure it's in the middle and standing up just like that so attach it to these two packs um, next is his, his eyes. I'm gonna need one black and one white band. I'll put my white band on top of my hook, then my black band and I'll create two loops, just like that. I'm gonna grab my white band to create two loops, then grab my black band create two loops, and grab my white again to create the last loop. So what you need on your hook is slightly older. Uh, one white, two black, two white, two black, and one white loop, um, all from the same band, really, or the same two bands. And this we're gonna again place on a double looped white band, um, holding band to put this on these two packs. So I'm gonna double loop a white band, and I'm gonna try to keep the loops in the same order and place them on that band. That's my two blacks, my two white loops. Okay. Here we are. But make sure they're still in the same order. And the top of uh, what we're making is actually the top of his head. Uh, so I want to make sure his eyes face up again um, as well just like the nose does uh, if I want these cr bands where they cross I want them at the back uh, a little bit And the last pa uh, band we'll use is another white band we double loop and place on the top. Okay, now we're ready to loom up. We're first going to loom up his foot, then his body, and then the both sides of his head. And we're going to make a slip knot with uh, our last flame band, flame colored bands. So I'll start in the middle of these two bands, just pull them up, just like that. And then I'll take one of the sides. I'll go through the capping pan band I placed. Grab the bottom two. I'll loom up. And here as well. And the last one. Last side. Alright, this one can be a little bit tight um, because we have used two double loop bands and there's a lot of bands on top of them. It's important that you grab all of them and I'll use my finger here to hold down all the other bands. I think I did it. And now I'm just gonna loop up all the way to his head. Really some tension every now and then. To make sure my bands don't break. Well, I don't think they will actually. It's not really tight or anything. I don't really have to do anything with the hands, I just need to make sure I go underneath those bands and grab the bottom two and pull them through. Or the bottom four actually, because this neck got four. Um, and now I'm just going to loom the sides. I'll take the top, the, the side I placed on last first, because they're on the top. I'm going to throw all the bands and grab the top three yellow ones. And I'm going to continue on this side first and I'm gonna go all the way up. Yep, there we go. I 
if you want to make more Beauty and the Beast figures. I know there are already tutorials for Belle out there and I'm planning on making the Beast. Um, but first, before I make the Beast, I want to finish some other tutorials, some figures I already have uh, made and promised tutorials up. But I will definitely do the Beast probably within two weeks from now. Um, so stay tuned for that one. Yeah, I'm just started looming. When I once I finish this side, I'll start it on the other side. By the way, but I think that's pretty obvious that you need to do both sides. Make sure you don't miss any packs or any bands. That they're all nice teardrop shaped. Okay, now I finished looming. If you haven't, just you can pause the video a bit and finish yours. And I'm going to take my two flame colored ones again, two different oranges. And I'm going to go through all the loops right here on the, or on the top pack. And I'm going to grab my bands, pull them through just like we did before um, with other slip knots. Um, pull the other ones on. First on the hook, I'm gonna go over the front first ones and just a slip knot right on top. And now we're ready to take it off, and I'm gonna start at the bottom. This one can be a little tight, it's okay. I prefer to use my hook and my fingers and take it off one pack at a time just to make sure my bands don't break. It's not that tight so it will come up really easily but I really advise you not to just yank it off all at once. Um, well because the bands do break quite easily. Alright, here we are. I'm just gonna go and Make sure his eyes and his nose, his mouth are all visible. I'm gonna pull on the um, bottom to get his feet a little tighter and the bands left loose. Just like that. And here you go, and uh, you got your little Lumiere. You can just get his nose out a bit. You might have to get his eyes in order, but they're quite alright. So there's two little fellas, two little Lumieres with the candles and I think he's really really cute. Uh, as said I will do some other tutorials. The next one that I will do will definitely be Dobby and I'll show you for now. But you can expect like the hats and a fully clothed one and also I'll show you how to make the one with just the, the tea towel or the rack. So that's going to be up next. I really hope you enjoyed making Lumiere and just stay tuned for more and visit my Facebook page to see which designs I already finished and what tutorials to expect. So uh, I'll see you around and enjoy the rest of your day.